Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube. My name is Vivian. I'm so happy that you are here. Today is all about a denim haul, all my favorite denim pieces. I am a massive denim addict. I will spend a pretty penny on denim. I'm trying to look for affordable denim, things that fit me right in the waist and the length. I am 5'2 and my waist is usually 24, but sometimes you come across brands and you're like, what the heck is the sizing? What model has 10 foot long legs? So I hope that that through this video at least you find uh, some brands that you're willing to try some styles that you're willing to try and hopefully if you do end up trying them maybe you also love some of the same jeans that I have the way that I'm gonna go ahead and break this video up is I'm actually just going to talk about each brand and what styles I like in each brand and how they kind of fit me and where I would wear them or what I would pair them with mostly my number two styles are boot cut and skinny jeans but it doesn't mean that the brands also don't carry other styles so if your style isn't boot cut or isn't skinny jean then just go ahead and explore these brands and see if they have something that kind of fits what you're looking for so without further ado let's go ahead and start give this a thumbs up leave a comment at the end subscribe and let's get to it first pair i'm going to talk about is probably my number one most worn denim but also my most frustrating so these are the eagle d riley high rise these are amazing i love the fade of them i love the length of them originally i got a size 25 and i was like oh, okay these fit i'm usually 24 like i said um and after probably one wear or one full day they are they become like a size 27 so they double in size or they go up two sizes and so then i got a 24 and i was like oh okay yeah these are like nice and snug and again they loosened up to probably be like a 25 and so it's kind of like a catch 22 you look great in the first couple hours wearing them and then by the end it's just like loosey goosey which is fine I don't mind it, but I really like that nice, tight, snug look with these jeans. So yeah, it's it's a little frustrating, but I do love the fact that the knee hole, like the distress is perfect, the, the shade, the wash is perfect, it's buttoned up um, the entire waist. So real quick in terms of styling, I have paired these jeans with almost everything, a gray crew neck, cardigan, leather jackets, plaid jackets, boots, sneakers, um, flip flops. Really, these are like a very, very versatile pair in, in terms of styling. So uh, really nothing too specific that I can say it. They, they really are a pair that goes with so much. Continuing on with Eagle D, uh, these are the Eagle D 90s loose fit denim, I'm pretty sure. Again, I actually sized down in a 23. When you read the reviews, everyone is saying size down, size down. So I sized down and I wish that I could size one or two more down but unfortunately the smallest size that they have is a 23 which can be really frustrating sometimes because then that means that I have to go and tailor it which is fine I'm I'm used to that being 5'2 and very petite but if you are a size 25 or 26 27 I would really recommend sizing down two because uh, knowing Eagle D, they do stretch, they do loosen, sorry not stretch, they loosen. The wash is great, they are boot cut, they're very very flattering, they make you look long and tall and you know really accentuate those legs. So a must have if you're looking for something that has that, but I also have a pair from Aritzia that are cheaper and that I would recommend um, for sizing. So hold on to that thought. I mean boot cut jeans or straight leg, I really very versatile again platform boots um you could do like chunky sneakers you could do flip-flops in the summer uh tank top crop top so a lot of styling options with these two next brand or next company these are bdg denim from urban outfitters i love their denim but i more specifically love their bdg premium a little more upscale than their regular bdg and i just find that the sizing the fit fits really really well for me and i hope if you end up trying it for you too this pair is bdg premium and it comes in i think the title is um premium cropped boot cut but cropped on like the regular normal average height and for me they're they're pretty 
good height. So I found that these I wear constantly. I love the way that they fit. They're snug around the waist. They're nice tight fitting around the booty. They make you look really, really good and they're very comfortable. If you're 5'2 and you're willing to try a pair, I really recommend these. I got a true size 24. Yeah, I just find them so flattering. If you follow me on Instagram, I've definitely been wearing these a lot, a lot in my try on hauls and things like that so um, they're a great pair the wash is great it's kind of like a medium to light wash and I've paired this with crop tops with sweaters with Doc Martin white sneakers converse just a really really good pair to have so if you are looking at Urban Outfitters definitely type in BDG premium to see what their options are because I really recommend that sort of line for sort of affordable a little more on the higher end i think these retail for about 100 but great fitting as well the next pair um, is also bdg premium this one is pax and these are like the most perfect bootleg straight raw hem at the bottom beige pants they're kind of like a cream off white and they fit so well i'll post a photo of me wearing them from instagram and i just really really recommend them they're great for a summer jean as well um, or winter whites if you want to do that so i really recommend these again bdg premium and i got these in a waist 24 or so true to size and they fit really well i actually did though i will say i did cut the bottom because it's raw hem i really didn't mind i just go straight across and cut them but yeah these are great and just like a great pair to have that i know that will fit me look flattering button up make it nice and tight and snug and yeah they're just great now we are going to talk about aritzia i love aritzia denim if there is one denim that i would say is somewhat affordable I, it's like 110 i think but really 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 good fitting denim I would say Aritzia. Their denim forum is their line. They also carry, I think, Ekel D and like several other brands, but these have got to be my new favorite and like will be for a very long time until I come across something maybe a little more uh, affordable. These are the Joni High Rise Loose and I have them in a lighter shade, but they are so great. They're straight leg. Yeah, I would say straight leg. I don't know why I keep saying boot cut. Straight leg, very flattering. I'm 5'2", so it helps accentuate my legs, makes me look a little taller just a very very elegant like looking jean i don't know why i'll still being casual obviously but they're snug around the waist they fit really well around the bot the 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 butt <laughs> i'm saying the bottom the butt the hips the way that i would style these again very casual i'm just a very casual person but if you wanted to dress it up i would say like maybe a black turtleneck a black leather coat or a jacket and some boots underneath if you want to do like casual docks or if you want to dress it up and wear a more pointed toe i think that would be like a really elegant look and i like the dark wash for that reason sizing on these is actually size one down but when you do size one down it fits so i am originally 24 i got a 23 and these are just so perfect i was like oh my god and what i wanted to say was that they have a pair that's sold out right now but it's coming back and restock in february so i would get on the waiting list but there's a pair that looks exactly like the eagle d 90s loose fitting stress jeans that i just showed you previously and i am just like yep they are going to fit amazing and they're way more affordable than 200 dollars and I'm excited because I know they're going to fit at a 23. So I have those ordered and waiting for them. But I also have a lighter wash in this exact style as well that I'll show you in a second. This is the same pair, Joni, uh, Joni High Rise Loose um, in a size 23. I actually just got these. So I haven't worn these yet, but I'm so excited. And I just feel like they're going to be a number one go-to pair as well. I think they do retail at 110, like I said. So definitely a little more of a splurge. But if you're looking, again, for something that's really good fitting and and kind of mimics the same styles that you're seeing around. These are great and I highly, highly recommend them. A change of the style, but these are also from Aritzia. These are the Arlo High Rise Straight. And I would say like straight, kind of skinny, not uh, actually not like ankle skinny, but yeah, skinny enough. 
I got these in a true to size 24. I feel like these are just the perfect ones to have in your closet. They're like the never fail you type jeans that just always look good if you're looking for something that has a little bit of stretch and is just like a very neutral wash that you can pair with a lot of things. So the bottom is raw hem and I don't think I cut these. I think these were actually perfectly cut when I got them. Just really nice and snug, flattering, easy to pair with a lot of things. I wear these a lot in the summer when I'm wearing flip-flops or Birkenstocks or just you know like a tank top jeans and, and sandals and you just go so I highly recommend these but if you want something a little more trendier I would say the Joni high-rise this is an old pair, I wanna say, the Bailey High Rise Crop Flare from Aritzia, size 24. They are definitely, this is like a boot cut when it kinda like goes in and out, but I love the wash of these, and I don't know why, for some reason, these just remind me of like 90s. I wear them with New Balances, with like a crew neck, and I just feel, I don't know, I just feel good. So this definitely isn't a style for everyone. If you're willing to try kind of like a boot cut or like kind of that, I don't know, like sometimes like I just feel like, I feel like my mom, you know, when she used to like pick me up from school, I don't know if that's weird, but I feel like she used to dress in these kind of jeans and it's kind of nostalgia and I just love them. I feel good in them, I feel happy. So if you're looking for something with that similar style, I highly recommend these. Last pair from Aritzia, these are their, the Farrah High Rise Wide Leg. These are such amazing jeans, but I will say very wide-legged, but also very flattering. I love wearing these in the summer with little strappy heels, a little tank top or a crop top, something like that. The wash is amazing. It's like a light blue kind of faded wash. The fit is really, really nice and very flattering. So if you're looking for really good wide-legged jeans, I would highly recommend these. I did get a true to size 24. They're a little snug after you wash them and dry them and kind of like you know you need to like oh okay but once they're on they're great they kind of do eh, not really loosen a lot but you get comfortable in them so um, I would highly recommend these if, if you're looking for wide-legged jeans they have several different shades of these so go ahead and check them out this pair is from Abercrombie, so we have moved on. I am blown away by Abercrombie. I recently started shopping there again after I don't know how many years of being obsessed with Abercrombie and then not being obsessed with it. I got a ton of recommendations from Instagram saying check out jeans from Abercrombie. They usually always have a sale going on, which is really helpful. I actually got these in store. These are the Curve Love, the ankle straight ultra high rise they are very high rise i got them in a 24 double zero regular and at first i didn't cut them they were a raw hem but at first i didn't cut them and then after i ended up cutting them so i would say if you are petite like me five two um recommend getting them in short if you don't want to cut them but if you do just want to get them in regular or if they're available in regular you can always cut them yourself Regardless, they're amazing, they're stretchy, um, they have distress all over, which is fun, but not like too, too much. Overall, very comfy. I will say that the denim kind of has a stretch to them, unlike many of the pairs here, which are true denim and don't really have a stretch, but loosen. After, I would say maybe two or three wears, these definitely did feel a little baggy, so I went ahead and threw them in the wash, but other than that, they're great, easy to style, great for fall if you wanna wear them with boots, if you wanna wear them with booties, sneakers, Converse, um, Vans, really anything, like just a very easy to pair. Um, all these denim are really easy to pair and not like very specific, except I would say the wide leg from Aritzia are pretty specific. All right, I was unsure if I was going to include this pair or not, but this is probably one of my most famous, most seen jeans, or the picture um, with these jeans is the most seen photo I think I've ever taken, which is so funny because I wasn't even in the mood to take the photo that went viral when I took it. Um, these jeans are from Revolve, they're Lovers and Friend. I think they're Asher was the was the name unfortunately for whatever reason they are not making them anymore which is very very disheartening because like they're so amazing but there's one knee that has a rip and the other one just a tiny little distress very very flattering high rise um have a zipper they're kind of like that boyfriend straight leg feel i wore these in la and i just thought they were like such the la vibe but that being said even though they're not being sold the two that i would recommend are the uh joni high rise from aritzia to kind of mimic this that's the one that's 
sold out right now um, and Abercrombie actually has a pair that looks pretty similar though it's a little more fitting than this looser style so so if you want to try that go ahead I'll write it down in the description box below like a similar pair but yeah these are these are great and will keep them in my closet for as long as I possibly can a black denim pair from Grey Bandit is up next. I have two knee holes and I have worn these and recommended these on, on Instagram several times now. They do sell out so I would definitely, if you're interested, check them out. Um, there's a discount code, I'll write it down below, but they're amazing. They're high rise, they're very flattering. The bottom is hemmed and sometimes I debate cutting them and making them a little more raw hem, a little shorter, but right now I've kept the, kept the length. All in all, just amazing, great pair to wear casual. You could dress up, you could wear like a turtleneck, a blazer, a jacket, a coat, booties, sneakers. You could dress it up, dress it down. Just a good black distress denim pair. So again, I would say like two to three wears out of it and then I'd probably throw them in the wash, dry them, and they kind of go back to their original size. I am wearing a 24 in these and I would recommend a 24 or if you want, and if you're able to, uh, size down one maybe because they will loosen and I feel like the stretch gives you more of that uh, feeling of comfort even if you're sizing down. So I would say true to size or size down one. Lastly, we have Levi's and I have a love-hate relationship with Levi's. I love them, I love a lot of their styles, but I hate the fact that many of the time the waist gaps, there's something a little wrong, a little off, and all in all, it would be nice to buy a pair of jeans that just fits. And I know a lot of Levi's get redone, get remade. I think that there's a problem with the original make of them, but I love Levi's. I have many pairs. I'm going to share two of my favorite ones with you. This one is the Wedgie Straight. This pair is kind of like a light wash. I just grab them and wear them with like very casual outfits. I would recommend sizing down. I got these in a 25 thinking that they would just be like that like comfy casual fit. I would rather a 24 or maybe a 23 if I could to kind of make them snug because they do loosen. That's another thing with, uh, with Levi's. They loosen a ton after you wear them so they might be snug going on and you might think wow like this pair is great or like it might be a little tighter going on and you're true to size and you're like oh wow gotta you know hold in my breath but then two hours later you're like why is the back gapping so I would recommend true to size or size down one but these are great if you're looking for them I know Levi's does a lot of sales so check them out uh, these are the wedgie straight and the last pair I'm going to share is coming up if you're going to look into Levi's, I would highly recommend looking at their rib cage jeans and sizing true to size or size down one. Reading reviews is so, so helpful. So definitely never miss out on reading reviews on anything, but especially uh, denim. But these are amazing. They're straight, like straight down everything. Um, they do fit really nice and snug up at the waist, around the, bot around the butt. Why can't I say that? Just a great pair of jeans. So I would highly recommend these. Great to dress up. Day night like a nice solid black pair is always necessary in your closet you can totally dress it down make it very like daytime but also dress it up and make it more nighttime so highly recommend these and yeah like I said Levi's I would I would definitely go and try a rib cage first all right, guys, that is the end of the denim haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found pieces that you're willing to try, maybe that you have, that you love. Uh, definitely let me know down below in the comments, and please let me know what is your favorite number one go-to always grabbing pair of denim because I'm willing to try it. I want to know um, and give you my feedback maybe then on all of your favorite pieces. So let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.